Hey everybody, welcome to Hey Guess What? A couple of weeks ago, we went on vacation. And we went to the beach. And we made a new friend. But it's not who you think it is. In fact, it's somebody really cool. Want to meet him? Let's go! Hello everybody, my name is Sammy. Sammy the Starfish. And I had such a great time meeting with Cadence, Quinn, and Gus on their vacation and teaching them about me, Starfish, that I wanted to teach you too. Starfish, like me, are part of a group of animals called echinoderms. And echinoderms means spiny skin. They are also referred to as sea stars. Even with the name starfish, they are not really fish. They're not really stars either, like they never start on Broadway. And starfish cannot swim. Instead, they move using hundreds of tube feet on their arms and body. And they also do not have gills like fish. We spend most of our life alone. It's kind of sad. But we will gather in large groups during certain times of the year to feed. We do like to eat. There are over 1,500 different species of starfish. Starfish don't have backbones. They are part of the group called invertebrates. Sea urchins and sponges are also a part of this group. Want to know how we met our friends? Well, the top of their body is the part you see if you were staring down at one in the ocean. That's how they saw Sammy. <laughs> Starfish have more than just their five arms and no backbone. They also have an area called the central disc. This is what their arms are actually attached to. That's right, and on the bottom of the central disc is their mouth. They can't speak. They only use it to eat with. We also have a spiky shell which offers us protection. And depending on the kind of starfish, our skin may feel leathery or even slightly a little bit prickly. And this tough covering is made up of plates of calcium carbonate and little spines on their surface known as ossicles. And these form the endoskeleton, which can look like spines and sand granules. Starfish have a very simple nervous system, but they don't have a brain. Starfish do not have blood. Instead, they use seawater to pump things around in their bodies. This is called its sieve plate, or madriparite. And a sea star can weigh up to 11 pounds. And the lifespan of a starfish also depends on the species, because some can live all the way up to 35 years old. They are found in every ocean of the world, but never found in fresh water. I'm so glad you remembered that, Quinn. She's right. The other thing is, we can live at almost any depth of water, from shorelines, like where Cadence, Quinn, and Gus found me, all the way to the deep ocean floor, way, way down at the bottom, where you can't even see from the top. They can live in cold water near the North and South Poles, but they can also live in warm areas, like coral reefs, and tropical waters. Starfish that live in warm places cannot live in cold places. And the same goes with starfish that live in cold places. They cannot live in warm places. Did you know that female starfish can make millions of eggs? They release the eggs into the ocean and never, ever return to take care for them. Starfish can switch their gender from male to female or female to male at any time. 
The movement of a starfish is controlled by their senses of touch plus sight. And there are five light sensitive pads, one at the end of each of a starfish's arm. As well, starfish have hundreds of little projections called tube feet on the bottom of their body. And these tube feet let the starfish move along the ocean floor and open up the scallops and clams that they find for food. You see, most starfish are carnivores. This means they are only meat eaters. I wonder if they like hamburgers. <laughs> Tasty burger. No? Okay. We also like to eat mussels. I lift things up and put them down. No, not those kind of mussels, silly. Mussels from the ocean. And mollusks, such as clams, oysters, and snails. And sometimes, we'll even catch small fish and eat them too. With some fava beans and a nice bottle of Kool-Aid. So, how do they actually eat? Well, after attaching its body to the food it caught, the starfish spreads its stomach out through its mouth. It then releases enzymes from the stomach that begins to digest the food. This allows the food to pass inside the stomach, which then retracts back into the body where digestion is finished. And this digested material enters our stomach and the tiny organisms can now be swallowed so that we can actually eat. They do this because they have two stomachs. And as you may have already seen in some of the pictures and videos on this video, most starfish have five arms. And they are called rays and come out from a circle or disc in the center. But sometimes a starfish has more than five rays. If it does, it will have rays in multiples of five. These are called pentameral or fivefold symmetry. Some starfish can have up to 50 rays. And to help protect themselves, starfish have developed several effective defense tools. Put them up, put them up. Besides our hard, prickly, armored like skin, many starfish have stunning colors that will disguise us among plants and corals and can even scare off potential attackers. Would you believe that? And hey, guess what? Starfish are able to regrow lost or broken arms. If they are under attack by <laughs> another predator, some starfish will even shed their arm to escape the predator. You don't taste good at all. You're not a star. You're definitely not a fish. You're a caterus! And because sea stars have most of their vital organs in their arms, some can even regenerate a completely new starfish from just having one arm and a part of the star's central disc. If this happens, it will take almost a year for it to happen. And the sunflower sea star is the largest starfish. When they are fully grown, their arm span, or rays, is about three feet, or almost one full meter long. Well, what do you think? A starfish are pretty cool, right? I hope you think so, because I had a lot of fun telling you all about us. Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub and smash that like button, and we'll see you on the next Hey, Guess What? Boom!